So Jesus and the disciples left that upper room where they had had that special meal. And Jesus led them out to a nearby garden, the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus taught them as they walked about how he was going to leave them soon, but that he would send the Holy Spirit, God living inside of them to be with them just as he had, to teach them and to comfort them. But the disciples were still very confused. And then there in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus looked very sad and asked them to pray for him, that he would have the strength for what was about to happen. And to pray for the disciples themselves, that they would not fall into temptation. For he knew that within an hour or so, he would be arrested and put on trial. And so Jesus found a quiet place in that garden. And Jesus prayed to his heavenly father like he never prayed before. He knew he was about to be cruelly tortured and killed. So he cried out and prayed, Father, if it is possible, may this cup of suffering be taken from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. In other words, he was saying, I I'm scared and I don't want to have to do this but I will be obedient to God and let myself be killed to save people because I love them so much. And he prayed so hard that his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. And when he got back to his friends, the disciples, those he'd asked to stay up and pray with him, do you know what he found? he found them sound asleep. At his hour of need, they had just fallen asleep. Poor Jesus, even his friends let him down. 